All right, guys, it's been a while, but let's talk about Bitcoin mining in 2019. So first and foremost, I hope we all learned a little bit about mining, you know, from all the years previously so we can use that information going forward. So let's talk about a few products. Um, we want to talk about the Eno miners, the Bitmain miners. Um, we also have this ASIC Miner 8 Nano up again. We'll divulge into that and we're going to wipe that one clean because we know that's no good. Um, so let's get into it. Let's see if there is some profitability range, if there is some room, and if it is worth it. Guys, first and foremost, this is not financial advice. This is not going to make you rich quick. This is just to give you some educational information so you guys can use it to your advantage. All right, so first off, let's talk about this ASIC Miner 8 Nano S58. So it looks like they're back. If you guys have seen my videos, we all know that they have complete access of the machines. We do not know what is actually going on with the machines. I would X this one out immediately. So that is a no buy. Yep, that is 100%. Do not buy anything from this company because you probably will end up getting burned. Um, I know this guy right here. He actually spoke with me uh, where they have this review and... He said that the machine failed multiple times. All right. So that's just to give you a little heads up. Again, this is a no buy with this machine. So we're going to get out of this one. And let's go ahead and head over to the Bitmain Antminer S17. So overall, Bitmain has been, you know, I would say the best product just as far as being able to get the product to you and delivering what they say. As far as repairing the product, um, customer service, they are complete garbage. But as far as mining goes, I would say they are the best in the market just for the overall experience in the miners. Now, we all, we're all we going to get back into this as well, talk about the specs and talk about the miner. But I just want to do a quick little overview. So we all know about the Halong mining. I made some uh, videos about that as well. They sent me some demo unit, but... Again, nothing has happened with them. They're kind of just blew off in the wind as well. So, you know, we have to look as who has been here before and who is staying. And the Eno miners have been there before. They're staying. Bitmain miners, they've been there before. They're staying. You also have a couple different miners like the Watts miners um, and a few other different ASIC miners out there that are decent. But I want to get into stuff that can actually make some profit right now. Now, again, guys, we do not know where the price is going to go. We have no realistic idea. If somebody tells you, oh, the price is going to shoot to 60000 tell them to F off. If they, they tell you the price is going to shoot down to 1000 tell them to F off because they don't know. They really don't. All right. But anyways, let's get back to it again. This is for Bitcoin mining in 2019. So it's all about your jolts per tera hash. That is your main 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 calculation guys you want to make sure that you're getting as much terra hash for the least amount of power draw right so the best thing that you could ever do is have free power if you have free power any of these miners could work because you're then you're just validating transactions and generating coins but let's say you are paying for electricity what is going to be your best bet okay so out of these top miners let's talk again about the ant miner s17 Let's talk about the Eno T3 50 terahash. Let's also talk a little bit about the T1, T2 Dragon Mint miners. Let's talk about the ASIC miner 8 Nano. Um, and let's see what's realistic. So if you currently have an Ant Miner S9 or it's the most readily available miner that you can buy on eBay, you can buy on Amazon, that you can buy anywhere, um, let's go ahead and put in some numbers to see where we're at. So I like to use whattomine.com. I feel like out of all the websites, this one has been the best for me. But again, you guys choose what's best for you. So let's do an average about 14,000 giga hash at 1,400 watts. Um, the usual electricity just for my area is about 13 cents. So you guys are going to enter in the numbers that is going to be the variables that are for you. And then you'll see a drop down list here of what your, you know, what your average revenue should be, what you should earn. So for instance, you should be doing about $5 a day 
In Bitcoin, you should have about 78 cents in profit. Not that much, but hey guys, if you have free power, $6 a day isn't bad. Maybe times that times 10, or you times that times 15, or whatever your number is going to be, it could add up if you have the power to make these miners run. All right, so let's get back to comparing the jolts per terahash, and let's see what's going to be the best bang for your buck. So Bitmain's Antminer S17 is going to give you a whopping 56 to 62 terahash and that is only going to come at a 2,212 draw for the 56 or a 2,520 to 2,790 draw for the 56 to 62. All right. So that comes out to 39.5 to 45 jolts per terahash. That is extremely good. Now, an interesting little fact to point out is how ASIC Miner, this toxic company, always likes to replicate. You see their power efficiency power efficiency, sorry about that, is 0.044 jolts per giga hash, all right? Interesting how they're right underneath, and they actually even put the numbers wrong <laughs> um, in, their, in their equation. Actually, they have it jolts per tera hash, and they have jolts per giga hash, so that's probably why you see the number. But it's interesting how they like to stay right around Bitmain and be comparable. But anyways, we know that this product is garbage. Throw it in the trash. So there's been no updates from Haylong Mining. We know that Scott Oxford is the main contact for him. It's very wish-washy talking to him. Um, we don't really know about the products. I've tried to speak with him to see you know, where he's going, what his direction is, but that was a no-go. So I'm going to have to say Haylong Mining is out for right now. So Haylong Mining, you're out. ASIC Miner 8 Nano, you're out. So let's go to the two top competitors. And I'm going to believe that's going to be the Eno. T350 terahash and the Antminer S17. So we already said that we're getting a whopping 56 to 62 terahash with a 39 to 45 jolt per terahash draw. So what is the Eno going to give you? So the Eno is going to give you 50 terahash at a 3100 watt draw at the wall. So that is a little bit lower than the Bitmain Antminer S17. That would actually come out to, if we did the math, I believe around 62 jolts per terahash on the draw. So if we were going to look at the best miner hands down right now for 2019, that if I were to buy and if I wanted to mine with, I would 100% go with the Amp Miner S17 Pro, the 56 terahash version. So let's go ahead and see what that could, what could that could potentially earn, you know, from their numbers. So let's go ahead and put in the 62,000 giga hash and our draw is going to be, let's top number 2,800. All right, 2,800. And let's see what we could gauge off this. So it's not bad guys. If you have one of these units currently at this price, you're looking at spending about $22 in pulling power and about $14 in revenue. That is not bad, guys. That is not bad at all. Now, hopefully the price keeps on going up. If the price keeps on going up, these numbers go up. If the price goes down, these number goes down, guys. I want you to wholeheartedly remember that because that's the whole name of the game with mining. So, what to take from all of this is that we need to do our due diligence and we need to make sure that we're getting a good miner that has some good projections or good profits for the future, as well as the lowest amount of power draw for the highest amount of Terra hash possible. All right. And what else can we take away from this is build a solar farm, build something that's going to generate power that is going to give you the electricity to run these miners. If you have that, then you will be a step ahead of everybody else. All right, guys, we'll get a lot more into new miners because I'm sure there's going to be a ton of stuff coming up in the next couple months. But for now, Digi out.